In this video, I'm just gonna continue the previous video on calculators in Python. And in this video, I'm going to uh, teach you how to create a calculator, a similar calculator to calculate area and volume of shapes. So this will be in two videos, one for area and one for volume. Okay, enough talk, let's get started. I start by opening a new file. I shall name it Area Calculator. Alright, again an introductory statement. So don't waste time, so I'll just say hi, a big hi. Alright then. After that, uh, you know the procedure of doing things, but in this video, I'm going to uh, teach you guys a new, uh, a new thing in Python, functions. So, Python functions are quite useful when it comes to storing a big set of commands in them, and you don't need to con get confused with the code, so that's what functions are for. So this is the syntax of a function, now let me just write the syntax here. So you always use this keyword DEF or DEF, definition. So this is used to define a function and here comes the function's name and finally there are two open parentheses and a colon and uh, after that with one indentation space here comes the code all right so this is the syntax for function and we'll be using functions in this uh, calculator program here so first let me start by defining functions for uh, each shape so I'll start with square, open parentheses, close parentheses, and uh, uh, colon. And I will start by asking the user the inputs for the sides value. So you know the formula for finding the area of a square, it's side square, or side into side. So we want the value of the side first. So uh, I'll name the variable side square equals, it should be a float, because it, it can be any number, even decimals. Okay, four brackets like that and input. Inside I will type, please tell me the value of a side. Alright, user has to type as input there. And we'll define a new variable, uh, square area. It should equal uh, side square into side square which is basically side squared all right so finally we print your squares area equals I'll just leave a line with backslash n and I'll print oh I don't need that and uh, I will print the result, which is square area. So that's the syntax for finding the area of a square. And it's put into a definition. So this definition will always be called when we type the name of the definition followed by parentheses. All right, so this runs the function and the code inside. We can just test that by running it. I'll name that area. Yeah, so it runs the function and we tell it the value of the side. I'll keep it as 75.5 and it multiplies 75.5 uh, two times by itself and this is our area. Amazing! So we can define more functions. I'll just take that off because we don't need that. I'll define more functions for rectangles, triangles, circles. Those are the basic shapes there. And a circles formula will be a little hard to write. So I'll paste that twice, perfect. So one for rectangle, uh, circle and triangle. All right, let me rename that rectangle and I'll rename that triangle and I will rename this circle. Sorry about that. Alright, so we're done with that and we can just modify this piece of code to uh, finish the code for rectangle, triangle and circle. Alright, so I'm just gonna modify things here. 
So, by the way, the formula for rectangle is L into B. So, we need two inputs from the user of the length. I'm just modifying, okay? Uh, let's rename that length rect. And that shall be breadth of the rectangle. And uh, let me just take that out. And another input over there for the breadth. Value of the breadth. Perfect. Alright, and uh, we can define a new variable for the area of the rectangle. So that should equal uh, this variable into that variable. Alright, so that's perfect and we can just rename that rectangle area and change that to area of rectangle. Perfect, so that's the formula for a rectangle and for the triangle we need two dimensions again, the breadth and the height. Alright, so I'll copy that, paste. I'll rename that height of the triangle and I'll rename that breadth of the triangle all right so uh, please tell me the value of the height and please tell me the value of the breadth perfect and uh, the triangles area I'll just rename that tri area so the triangle's area is going to be equal to half times breadth into height. So uh, half is basically 1 point, 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 into uh, height of the triangle into breadth of the triangle. Perfect. That's our formula there. And we can rename that triangle. Okay, so that's our formula for the, I mean, that's our code for the triangle area. And a circle is a bit tough, but we can do it. So, circle has only one uh, input, which is radius. So, uh, radius or diameter, but we're not going to do diameter now, because diameter is basically twice of the radius. So, let me just name that circles radius. And, uh, okay, just leave that like that. Okay, so uh, of the radius and the circle's area is going to be pi r squared. So pi is 3.14, two decimal places to be, uh, okay, fine. And 3.14 into uh, r squared, so uh, the radius is circle radius. So it should be circle radius into term of circle radius. Okay, so pi into r into r. So that's the area of your circle, and you have to finally print your circle's area equals circle area, the variable. So that's our functions for the uh, area code. <coughs> All right, so uh, after that, we can just run the functions according to the input uh, the user gives so I'll continue the code and uh, let me just ask the user by uh, defining variable choice choice equals string because the, it's gonna be a text and close that with brackets and I'm just gonna type here input and I'm gonna ask Please tell me what shapes area you want to find. Quite simple. So the uh, user has to type uh, the full uh, name of his uh, uh, square. I mean, full name of the shape. All right. So uh, we have to just uh, elaborate that a bit by telling the user. To 
type the name of the shape you want so remember guys only these four shapes otherwise the program will result in a fatal error all right so after that we go for some if statements and uh, lf and else statements for each of the shape so if choice equals square then I have to run the square definition square function quite simple that really uh, shortens our code and lf choice equals rectangle then we have to run the rectangle function and after that another lf statement lf choice equals triangle then we have to run the function for the triangle uh, sorry function for the triangle and uh, finally with the, an else statement we have to run the function for circle all right that's the end of our code and we can test it out it should be perfect yeah so it first uh, asks for this input over here so mm, let's go for triangle okay the value of the height uh, let's go for 12.4 can be 19 can be 19.85 uh, okay, so that's a lot of the hill faces. So that's what that's what a float is. But by the way, uh, it's gonna be perfect over here. Uh, all right, something is wrong with our triangle code. Height into breadth into zero point five. All right, uh, let me just cut that and put it here. Let's see if it works fine now. Let me type triangle again. 12 and 12. Let's say 13. Alright, now it's perfect. Alright, so uh, triangle has been tested. Let's test the rest of the shapes. 144. We can run that again. With rectangle. Length shall be uh, 72 and the breadth shall be 198. Again, perfect. And finally, for the circle, uh, let me type circle. The radius shall be uh, 10 and it will be 314. Alright, so perfect because it uh, multiplies 3.14 into 100. Okay, so our area program works amazing with the help of the functions and a bit of code all right guys so i hope you liked my video please subscribe 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 and hit the bell icon to receive the latest updates about my videos and please give my video a like all right guys have a good day and goodbye